to have the word medical in it? Nope, it's the other M word. <laughs> That's big when you're in the armed forces. <laughs> word that's popping up is a medical and municipal. <laughs> Military. <laughs> Entrance processing station. Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures from the Homefront. I'm Kate, this is Olivia, and today's video is going to be a little uh, bit different. Yes! yes. <laughs> As you can see, I also have little James with me. Um, the husband was, again, a little too tired coming off of 24-hour duty. Are you going to go to Olivia? <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. We are going to be playing a military term acronym game. Um, mm -hmm. So, and Jessica and uh, Amanda are not with us today. Um, they're spending some time with family, which is always wonderful mm -hmm. um, and very important. Um, so I guess maybe I will go ahead and start sure. and ask you. So we're going to do, um, there's the acronym names as well as what they mean and like a little blurb on them. So we're going to ask each other and kind of see. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. Okay. Do we have like a piece of paper to keep score on or? Oh, I just think we can just okay. keep those. Let's or... keep these that works. Yeah. Better. Okay. Let's see. Um, PT. Physical training. Yeah. I got that one. <laughs> we were talking first and we we're like, neither of us know anything. <laughs> I'm sure some of these I'm gonna get wrong, and my husband's just gonna be <gasps> oh, just a little what? disappointed. He's yes. like, come on, Caitlin. Like, same, same. No. <laughs> so I guess maybe I'll give this one to you since yeah. you got that right. Alrighty, and I'm gonna switch you. You can have your <gasps> little bubby. He's <laughs> wanting you. You want your tiger? <gasps> the tiger. Oh no. <laughs> Gosh. This is a long one. But it's okay. Okay. Op sec. <laughs> um. Is it like oh, it's oper OP. Okay, yeah, operation section? I don't know. Close. Operational security. Okay. Close. <gasps> Do you like okay. that one? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not in the mouth. <laughs> not in the mouth. Okay. Oh, darn. Don't. It's okay. I At least I got the operation. You got it. Right. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay. I look away. Cola. Like C O L A. <laughs> is that a is that a real acronym? I don't Are we know. These up? <laughs> it was on a website. <laughs> um. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Cardinal operational. <laughs> Linguistics administrator. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Coming up with her. Cost of living allowance. Are we? Is that a real one though? <laughs> I so they were in like different sections when I put them. So there's some that are like, okay, these are like there. These are the stuff that you should know, and that was the one that I should have known. <laughs> so there we go. Well, a little. <laughs> Okay. Deers. So I know what the deer system is. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the acronym is. Like, so what is the deer system then? Um, so it's basically... <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Exactly, exactly what that is. Um, <laughs> so it's where the uh, service member will actually go and put like his family's information mm -hmm. in. Um, Okay, keep biting me. <laughs> um, so I, I yeah, know yeah, yeah. It's a database of military families and others entitled to receive Tricare and other benefits. Oh, okay. But it stands for Defense Enrollment Eligibility Reporting System. Yep. See, when the see, yeah, no. <laughs> At least I know what it yeah, is. Yeah, we know. It, so. see, there, that's one of those. It's just like, yeah, but what's the big long words for it? <laughs> All right, let's see here. Conus or slash Oconus? I think I'm pronouncing that right. 
I'm gonna start. Is this another cost of living thing? <laughs> cost of... I don't even know if we're supposed to know this one. <laughs> I feel like this does not apply. I'm doing another one. Okay, okay, what is it though? This says the continental U.S. Oh. Where CONUS is the 48 connected states and District of Columbia. Okay. And O CONUS is outside the continental. Hmm. Okay. Does, does not apply. Does not apply. <laughs> DNA. Okay. Um, ASVAB. So that's the test that they take in order to figure out where they're placed. I have no idea what it means. <laughs> Something having to do with... I have no idea. Okay. Um, armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test. Um, so this is obviously the test that the service mm -hmm. member will take. Um, during the recruitment process. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a multiple choice test. Um, a pr prospective recruit takes before enlisting to see if they are qualified to join and which military jobs they are qualified for. So it's like basic knowledge, like mm -hmm. little things about electricity, little things about like how engines work, other stuff that I don't actually <laughs> know about, um, and things like that. And depending on how they take doing that test, is where they get placed, where they're able to rank and start up as well. Absolutely. But, you know, the armed services <laughs> <laughs> battery <I think> test. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, what's this next one? Hopefully this is an easy one. A TDY. <laughs> TDY. This is one that has not affected. So. It's not affected me, so yes. I have no idea. It's a temporary duty station. Oh, okay. So when they get like assigned a location, um, but it's not going to be where they're staying for forever. Yeah. <laughs> Which I mean, at any duty station where you're staying forever, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> just one that's temporary. Uh, so we're I'm one yes. out of pile. <laughs> As you can see, we obviously are not very good at this. <laughs> and like, we put this in our little group chat as like an idea to do, and I was like, I mean, I'll do it. It's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> All right, so next one. Let's see. Mos, M-O-S. Um, I was saying something to do with the military. Obviously. <laughs> and something to do with service. No? Okay. Military occupational system. So close! Specialty. Military occupational specialty. Um, oh. So this is a service member's specific job in the military from artillery and aviation to engineering and intelligence. So like what they do. Like basically. Yes. Like if they're an ET or an EM or mm -hmm. whatever. And if any of these acronyms are wrong, because um, we did get them online, please comment and let, let us, us know. know. <laughs> we I was <laughs> trying not to read them as I was printing them out because I didn't want to cheat. So if any of them are wrong, and yes, please call us out. We yes. would love to know we what they actually this. mean. <laughs> okay, let me get some water. Okay. A P O C. You guys have one of these. You're not. <laughs> I've heard that acronym before. Okay. Um. Oh, there goes the good thing. We're just drinking water tonight. <laughs> yeah. Let's just place that right there. Yeah. And with your tiger. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. P O C. Um. I've heard the term. Mm -hmm. No idea. So it's a privately owned. Uh, conveyance so it's your service member's vehicle oh okay so it's not owned by the government it's what they drive every day okay mm -hmm. see we don't use that term no ever so it's like my car. I've heard, the only time I think we've ever used it when it came was it when it came to um, filling out paperwork so Probably. like when we had to move um, yeah. from a different state or um, let uh, base housing know what our vehicle is. Mm -hmm. That's the only time I've ever heard that. It was probably in like the big packet of papers you had to hand in when you're like, okay, I'm moving. Like, <laughs> yes. what are we doing? 
And there's another bajillion words that you don't understand there as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm just like, all right, honey, here you go. Yep, yep. <laughs> Get her done. <laughs> or he's like, here, take this, fill it out. You have better handwriting. And I'm like, he says that to me all the time and I will do it, but I, I just sit there and like, all right, what is this? What yeah. is this? And yeah. he gets annoyed a little bit and I'm like, honey, you told me to write. I will so. write. <laughs> he all, and I think too, don't they teach them in boot camp how they want them to write? Yes, it's all, all, caps. all caps. Yes. Like, are you want to pick one, James? <laughs> you going to pick one? He's trying at He's least. He's trying so hard. <gasps> Good Yay! job! Thank you. Oh, oh we got, got two. two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's take the glass bowl away from you. <laughs> All righty, we're just a hot mess tonight. Yep. Um, <laughs> let's see here. A CO. So Commanding <laughs> officer. <laughs> yes. This was one of the examples I gave her when I was like, um, yeah, there's like three of them that I know, and it's like XOCO and PT. Like, <laughs> right. the, word, the, the acronyms that you hear every single day from your um, significant other, yes, oh, or family member, or whatever. And for those that don't know, um, the commanding officer is the one, the officer that is in charge of the uh, military unit, um, so, such as captain for a company. Um, which is in the army or a squad squadron commander for squad squadron of aircraft, so air force. Yeah. So some of these are definitely like broad over top. I think these are all the ones that are broad over top of all military communities, not just mil navy mm -hmm. like we're used to or coast guard where Amanda's used to. Yes. Oh, sorry. Oh, my turn. Yeah, <laughs> to ask you. Let's see. Let's mix them up a bit. AIT or A school. Okay, so um, that is going to be the first school that um, the service member will go through mm -hmm. um, whenever they um, find out what their job title is. Mm -hmm. um, Do you know what the acronym stands for though? The AIT? <laughs> nope. <laughs> So it's advanced individual training, and it's the hands-on career training and field instruction each service member receives before being qualified to do a specific military job. The specialized schooling varies by military branch. And everyone goes to A school after yes. boot camp. <gasps> yes, everyone. Um, but I know with our husbands being the nukes, they've gone, they went through two extra schools after mm -hmm. that. And depending on what they're specializing in, it could be a lot more. But they typically oh, start at A school thank you. and they get all that training done and they work them to the bones and study <laughs> their little hearts out. Oh. oh my goodness, thank you. I would love to kiss you right now, but mommy doesn't want to get all of her lipstick on your cheeks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alrighty. Now, next one. An L-E-S. L-E-S? I knew this one! <laughs> I don't. Um, is it a leasing something service? Or a... No. Am I gonna feel like an idiot when you say this one? <laughs> Probably. Because <laughs> I feel like I know this word. Yes. What is it? So it is the leave and earning statement. Oh. So like, so pretty much like the monthly statement of the, how the much they check. Make. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't look at those. <laughs> That's not my job. Yeah. So it's the bi-monthly, my bad, not yeah. the monthly, the bi-monthly statement. Um, and it just reports of how much the service member has earned. Mm -hmm. um, and you typically like... Um, I know we used this whenever it came to us getting a VA loan when we had a house mm -hmm. in Charleston um, or just any kind of like rental property mm -hmm. in general like it really helps with that yeah um, and also taxes taxes yes yes you're gonna get lipstick all over oh, wait, you you did not get that one you <laughs> did not get that one don't give me that one where are you going no 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 <laughs> You the fact that he's you. like asking for you. I know. Like, he's my friend. <gasps> Do we want mommy? <laughs> oh yes, we want mommy. <laughs> yes. All right, what's the next one? A ditty. 
So I know that it is, a, I've heard a Diddy move. Yeah. Uh, so isn't it like a do-it-yourself mm -hmm. move? Yeah, okay. we did a Diddy move when we moved down here. Yeah, it's literally do-it-yourself. Okay. We've we've done quite a few of those. Yes, <laughs> yes, because they're sometimes a lot easier, especially when they give you like 12 days to move, and mm -hmm. yeah, you don't have to do it. So do it yourself on a personally procured move, um, which can save a service member a lot of money moving. This is often associated with moving during a permanent change of station. Mm -hmm. Now, I say we've done that a few times. We've only ever actually done that twice. Um, but in Charleston, we moved ourselves a couple times. Mm -hmm. um, but I know when it comes to a Diddy move, you <clears throat> will typically go to the. Um, it's is it Fleet it, and Family. It's or? not Fleet and Family. It's an office on it's base. Typically, excuse you. <laughs> um, typically, <clears throat> it's near their. It's near, in New York when we were up there, it was near, I forget what it was though. Mm -hmm. It's like one of their specialty offices, but like you, it's a lot of extra paperwork and you're weighing your vehicle yeah. when you put the stuff in, when you put it out, um, recording how many mileage and your gas, keeping all your receipts. That's say hurt to, I don't know if you want to <laughs> eat that there, but. Pretty much the yeah. military will reimburse you for moving. Yeah. So, so you're not <laughs> dealing with military movers and all the extra yes. stress that comes with that. It's great in a lot of aspects because they do it for you a lot of the times, but um, and I know our personal situation, we didn't have that extra time where we had we could, would be able to say, hey, come move us out and move us back <laughs> in, as well as all of our stuff was in like 12 different places. Yes. So um, a Diddy move was easier for us at that time. Or not. TSP. Tactile. <laughs> Um, suspense protocol. I'm trying so hard to like have a straight face, and I just, it's okay. so it's the thrift savings plan. Thrifts? I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, so it's similar to a 401k. So mm. it's basically like a retirement plan uh, for service members, <clears throat> and that's exactly what it says here. So yeah, I was, I was spot on. <laughs> oh, see, okay. in my household, like I have my bank account, and my husband has his stuff, mm -hmm. so we haven't combined anything yet, just because okay. it's so much easier to not do. Well, you guys are still newlyweds. Yeah, as well, we've only so. been well, we've been married a year, so we have oh. zero excuses for it at this point. It's just, I don't know. It's nice to have our two separate things, and we share everything anyway. But uh, all those weird like TSP and LES <laughs> and. On a monopia. <laughs> no, I don't deal with those. All right, next one. A A F E S. Say again. A A F E S. There's probably another way to say it, but this is A F S A F E S. A F. -E -S. And this is probably. I'm gonna give you another one because this is not one that you would know. It's the uh, Army and Air Force Exchange Services. No. <laughs> we are Navy wives right here. <laughs> so it's the retailer that operates post exchanges on armed Army and Air Force installations. So, like, they're next probably. Oh, okay. Well, probably. Um, which is the Naval Exchange. So it's probably like, almost like a grocery store type of department store would be my best guess on it. But, um... We don't. We do. have we, no her idea. And I do not. <laughs> if you have a better description of it, please leave it down below because we have no idea. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's do what you might get. <laughs> oh, MEPS. Oh, um, I do not know what that stands for. I will try and guess. No. But I do know that is um, <clears throat> part of the recruitment process. Um, that's where they go to swear in. Mm -hmm. um, and they also go to get their job title mm -hmm. um, before going to boot camp. So, MEPS, let's see here. Does it have the word medical in it? Nope, it's the other M word. <laughs> That's big when you're in the armed forces. <laughs> <laughs> what M word? The only word that's popping up is a medical and municipal. <laughs> <laughs> Military. 
Entrance processing station. Uh, like you said, I feel like, like such an idiot at the moment. <laughs> You're like the big word when it comes to the military. You're when it comes to the armed forces, oh, armed I said. Forces. I Sorry. didn't want to give you military. <laughs> Tell that's that's the also big where they take their ass baps. I didn't know that. I think my husband did it before that. My husband did it as well because I know you can also take the ass bab at your high school. Because mm, um, I know some recruiters will come and like <clears throat> talk about um, you know joining the military mm -hmm. and giving out pamphlets and stuff like that. They so. also stand in the giant parking lots, which is a grocery store from where I'm from, and hand out recruitment papers. So, <laughs> military. I couldn't think of the word military. military. That is a sad one it's today. <laughs> so it's ASVABs. They get a physical there as well. Um, my husband drank too much coffee during that physical and was very anxious, so they yelled at him about his blood pressure. Um, yeah. Right. The NCO. Um, and the NCO. It's a commanding office, right? Is it not? It's something. So. No. Not commanding. Commercial. Mm -mm. It is the non-commissioned officer. Oh, okay. So I've actually. NCO, I, I, I don't think I've ever heard that term, possibly, yeah. um, but it's a military officer who has not received a commission, such as sergeant and warrant officer. I don't know what that actually means. So, <laughs> we can't explain we that one. <laughs> we don't, we can't, we don't have any previous knowledge on that. Do you know? Comment down below. Yes. You're less of an idiot than Kate <laughs> On military terms, we have our different strengths. <laughs> oh. You ready for this one, Kate? Okay. The DOD. Defense. Close. It's one of the D's. <laughs> Department of Defense. Yes, there you go. <laughs> this is the department of the U.S. government that is responsible for all military operations, except right the Coast Guard. Isn't Coast Guard um, DOC? I think. Yeah, right. Or something else. DOH or DOC? I don't. Homeland Security. Yes. Coast Guard's under Homeland Security. Everybody else is DOD. You got that one. Woohoo! Woo. We are two for two. Two for two. <laughs> two for twenty-seven. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We didn't learn this stuff. Yeah. This is just basic stuff that we need to know, that we don't actually need to know how to yeah. do it. JSC. Um, we're just gonna guess. It's gonna be the J, so the JSC is going to be the jury of um, subliminal corrections. <laughs> So it's a jury <laughs> when like they get in trouble, <laughs> but they just go for subliminal messages. <laughs> they don't say anything direct. <laughs> I, I like mine better. <laughs> you actually come up with some like ridiculous stuff and I love it. Um, <laughs> this is the Joint Chiefs of Staff. <laughs> leaders who advise the president, the secretary of defense, the homeland security council, and the national security council on military matters. I still think mine was better. <laughs> Subliminal messaging, you know. Where are you trying to go? You got ants in your pants, boy. He just wants to move all over the place. Alrighty. Here we go. We're about to come into this season. PCS. Heard that term? PCS. Also known as PCS Ing. I N G. Oh, so it's a move? Mm hmm. Um, post. Postal. <laughs> Operation. I have no idea. <laughs> I think we tried too hard to make the words fancy. 
Permanent change of station, so it's the relocation of an active duty service member to a different duty location. Service members may PCS every few years. Okay. And I think here, isn't the PCS season around October? I think so. Right? Because we moved like right before it and we had no like places See, to live. I knew it was a move and then I'm just thinking of like postal codes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Postal codes. Yes, we're moving everywhere all the time. Yeah. Let's try this one with. One try this one. Hmm? One more. Alright. See? Okay. Um. BRS. <laughs> I feel like I've ha I've heard the acronym different for this. Okay. But maybe. And it's not, not RBF, right? <laughs> no, it's BRS. BRS. <laughs> um. BRS. Um. Binding recruitment services? No, blended retirement uh, savings system. System. Is that another savings account thing? Um, yes. Yeah. So it's the military's new retirement system, um, mm -hmm. which extends benefits to about 85% of service members, um, even if they don't have, like, they don't serve the full 20 years. Um, this system uses the Thrift Savings Plan or TSP. But I feel like this is what my husband has because he was like, it's not good if I stay in 20 years with this thing. And I was like, okay. All right, last one. Alrighty, let's see. <laughs> Does she know this? Where are you going? Hey, hi, Junkie Bug. Hi, so <laughs> He's smiling away. What are you away. doing? He likes his hair tie. <laughs> I know, I like it too. It's open. <laughs> A P O C. Oh, I've heard this one. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Is it like some kind of like upper chain of command? Sort of. It's your point of contact. Oh, okay. okay. So the person you contact about a specific program or assignment. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. So somebody up in your command might be your POC, but... See, the spouses know these. <laughs> we hope. We hope. We hope. All right. Well, All right. That's the end of that. that. So let's see here. Oh, wait. That was not actually. Oh. It was over there. So four and three. So Olivia wins the game today. <laughs> Um, this was a lot of fun though, so, was a <laughs> and I'm glad we learned a few new terms. Um, let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's hope they stick. Um, but that, I guess that is it for the yeah. day. So um, go ahead and subscribe if you have not. <laughs> give us a like and thumbs up, hit the bell, and we hope to see you guys soon. So if you guys comment down below with any video requests you want to see from us or any corrections to any of the things. <laughs> that we probably said wrong today um because like we said we kind of low-key have no idea what we're talking about with this just from what we've been told from our husband and read on facebook groups <laughs> Alrighty, guys we hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next week bye, bye.